Yeah, hi Bernard. Hi Next Carsten. Video. Yeah, in uh, this video we will demonstrate the installation of uh, the roles and features that are required for Azure Stack HCI. And um, as a good master of ceremony, you have prepared already some PowerShell script line for this. And you're exactly. navigating to it. Okay, good. Let's see what you have there. So um, you can install the features with, in the moment only with PowerShell because we can't access the system over the network. And this mm -hmm. is a reason, Let's let me just start the installation. This is the reason why we install Hyper-V, right? Because right. we need, yeah, we want to have our two management adapters in a so-called team, but the, yeah. the LBFO team is not available anymore under uh, Azure Stack HI, or at least it's not supported. So we have to do teaming with a set switch. Mm -hmm. And to access the system remotely, we have to have at least the management adapter configured. So now, right. What's that? Yeah, so it uh, requires you already wants you to restart the system because that's hyperweaves. But let's go maybe through the other functionalities as well before we do the uh, actual reboot of that. Yes. Um, so we need the hyperv stuff for creating the networks. Okay, understood. Uh, or at least the set switch and the command there is in in the hyperv uh, PowerShell modules. Uh, the failover in clustering part. Okay. Um, HCI is, uh, you know, is using, is a failover cluster. Therefore we need the tools too. Mm -hmm. Data center bridging. What do we need? Why do we need that for? Oh. Yeah, we use RDMA. So SMB, uh, SMB over RDMA. And there are two possibilities, iWarp and Rocky. And we have here Rocky and for Rocky, we have to configure uh, DCB. So uh, we need the, the data center bridging module. Uh, mm -hmm. So the flow are, control, the, the quality of service, if you will, sort of thing is, is inside there, right? Yeah, all right. So then we have some um, file server stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the file server part, a small part of the file server and the date duplication uh, part. If you want to do deep duplication in your cluster shared volumes, you need that. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we install BitLocker so you can mm -hmm. um, BitLocker your CSV volumes. And then we have a small addition that is the um, AD PowerShell module. Mm -hmm. So we okay. have now all installed and we have to reboot because Hyper-V, the Hyper-V role has, uh, needs two reboots or at least one um, so that the hypervisor is, um, yeah, how, how you say it, uh, I implemented below the Windows kernel. So let me restart. And in the next video, what will we do? Mm -hmm. We will uh, in the next video, our management. Yes, that's correct. But let me show you if you can share my screen. Um, of course because, I can. Yes. So uh, what you can see here is the uh, there are the, you know the the step that Carsten just did is documented um, at the Microsoft pages for HCI. There are other web pages that tell you you know what to install. Some of the things you will find on that list again. Some of the things that are additional. We, for example, we didn't we did not use or network ATC. Therefore, we didn't install it. There are other things like storage replica, which is for storage clustering, which we are not using. Therefore, we didn't install. Right. So there there might be some deviation from from this, um, but you know um, the most important parts are I would say the things here. Um, these are, and I think that you, you should, you'll find that one in, in, in Carsten's script as well. Okay. Okay. So Good. I would say see you in the next video. See you.